Tom Ziegler with MMA on the rise. Coming up next, we have a fight at the 145 pound weight limit from Fight Lab 26 in Charlotte, North Carolina between heavy-handed Southpaw Lawrence Dennis Jr. versus Joseph Ray. Stay tuned. This fight is brought to you by Any Lab Test Now. All the best fighters get their blood work at Any Lab Test Now. <laughs> Over 150 convenient locations. Fighter panels include HIV, hepatitis B, and C. Only $89. No doctor's orders needed. <laughs> In and out 15 minutes. Fighting is in your blood. Make sure nothing else is. MMA on the rise. Here at Cody Joe's, Charlotte, North Carolina for Fight Lab 26. Tom Ziegler and Paul Boo cage side with your commentary. We got Joseph Todd Ray coming to the ring. Todd Ray comes to us from a Full Circle MMA out of Marshall, North Carolina. Full Circle MMA has actually been uh, building up uh, quite a few wins. They've got several guys that have been doing very, very well lately. Um, good wrestlers. Uh, good uh, submission guys have decent striking too. They have a hot keto background as their is, is part of their base, um, but they seem to have a strong wrestling program in the gym too. I don't know if it's high school wrestlers. They have a wrestling coach, so I'm not sure, but uh, I know that they do really well with the wrestling as well. Yeah, Bruce Gunter, who's a phenom out of that same camp, um, obviously uh, Joseph Ray's uh, training partner. Um, like you said, good guys coming out of that camp. We always see good things when we see their guys fight. Joseph Ray coming to us with a record of five and four. And really, his, his loss is Salah Hamida, who we know real well. Dennis making his way to the cage. 
A uh, quick note to finish my thoughts on Joseph Reyes. He's, he's only lost to really good guys. Mike Powell, who is a former champion at Fight Lab. Salah Hamidah is an elite champion. Uh, he's lost to some really good guys. He's been in there with, with the best of the best. Now, this man right here, Lawrence Dennis Jr., dynamite in his fists. Yeah, he's uh, definitely a striker. This is, uh, hits hard, moves fast. Young, agile guy. Uh, you know he's. You got to look out for that explosion with him. He'll come from nowhere and just just land a bomb on you. Yeah, he's long and lean. He doesn't look like he would pack a lot of power, but uh, it, it reminds me of um, uh, Felix uh, Trinidad, uh, a boxer from uh, the '90s. Uh, same build, very skinny, but man, when he hits you, you know he put guys down. The coach Phil from Renegade Fighting Systems greasing him up has found himself a guy with some power in his hands. Yeah, I, I've actually had some conversations with Lawrence Dennis. He's done a lot of training actually uh, with his dad. Um, and uh, he, he's landed now over at Renegade Fighting Systems. Uh, but I believe his boxing actually originally comes from his dad. Don't quote me on that for sure, but I had a brief conversation with him uh, at a boxing event, and I'm pretty sure that's what he had told me. There we get a good look at Lawrence Dennis. Yeah, we got 5'11 and 5'6, which might be uh, might be a little off for Ray. Yeah, definitely going to play uh, in Lawrence Dennis's favor being a striker as long as he is looking for that shot coming out of uh, Todd Ray. Here we go with round one. Lawrence Dennis throwing the jab out there, trying to find his range. Lawrence Dennis in the, that southpaw stance. Looking to land that big left hand. A straight left hand does damage. With that lead hand low. Uh, you can see Joseph Ray circling left, staying out of the way of that big left hand. Very aware of what Lawrence Dennis can do. Goes in for the shot. Very smart to try to take him down. He's got the single, had him elevated briefly. Dennis showing some good takedown defense there. Looks like he's digging for a guillotine possibly, but he's, he's really got the, the underhook on the left side. Yeah, it looks like he's really heavily defending for that. Uh that takedown defense, that's one of more. Oh, he got a nice little uh, trip there, almost like, sort of like a Tayatosh. <laughs> Raining down some shots. Good position here. Doing a lot of damage. Staying on his feet. Staying behind Ray. Ray's just turtling up, trying to avoid any damage. Oh, this is gonna be over. That left hand's coming. Donnie Jessup's seen enough. And Lawrence Dennis Jr. has himself another TKO victory. It happens that quick, folks. He just kept raining down those left hands repeatedly. And, and, and you know, over his power hand, shot after shot after shot. Looks like he's working a little takedown. He had a little hip toss there. Yeah. Not just a boxer anymore. Evolving to a mixed martial artist. There you have it. Lawrence Dennis is your winner. You are watching MMA on the Rise.
And that'll do it for our show this week. Make sure to like us on Facebook, check us out on YouTube, follow us on Twitter. We'll see you next time on MMA on the Rise.